Mm. And, you know, we would say, you know, by today's standards, these are really superb healing process in these individuals. We did a good job. Clearly, these workers were highly valued by their employers. Being a worker was a rare privilege. You were well paid, you were well looked after, and it was, in fact, a cushy job. The pyramid builders' tombs reveal an organized structure of professionals and skilled artisans working within an ordered workforce. They were supported by a sophisticated employee welfare system. This discovery can prove one important thing, that pyramids were not built by slaves. Because the tombs at Giza were of ordinary people, they seem to have been ignored by treasure seekers. It was another tomb, kept sealed for 35 centuries, which produced Egyptology's best known discovery. The tomb of the most famous of all pharaohs, Tutankhamun. Ancient Egypt is one of the most long-lasting civilizations in history. It was ruled over by the most powerful kings. These are statues of real men. Who were they? What were they like? Archaeologists are trying to find out in the tomb of the pharaoh Tutankhamun. This is not the icon for a statue. It is the icon of the whole world. Who was the man behind the golden mask? The Valley of the Kings, on the west bank of the Nile. The Valley of the Kings contains 63 tombs. But for centuries, the one belonging to Tutankhamun lay hidden. In 1922, the great explorer and Egyptologist Howard Carter set out to find it. Howard Carter stayed for five years, five seasons, trying to find the tomb. Until one day in the morning, when the workmen began to clean around, they found 15 steps lead to the entrance of the tomb. The tomb descended 30 feet into the limestone rock of the valley. The end of the shaft was blocked. Carter punched a hole. And he saw in this room wonderful things. The tomb contained not only the body of the pharaoh, but over 3,000 treasures buried with him. Ever since, the tomb has been a magnet for Egyptologists, examining and analyzing the mummy and its treasures. And now, archaeologists can go deeper than ever. They can see the boy king as he's never been seen before. Archaeologists are using modern medical science to study his 3,500-year-old body. CT scans take thousands of x-rays of a body and put them together to produce a 3D image. The CT scan is wonderful, really, in archaeology. You can actually see everything. You can see how this king died, when he died. You can look at everything. Experts are investigating a mysterious hole in the back of King Tut's head. Could this be the wound that killed him? If you look at the skull, you'll find there is a hole in the back of the head. There is a lot of damage to the upper vertebrae, perhaps even the base of the skull, at the frame and magnum, the place it connects. The wound is consistent with damage done in an attack. That hole made everyone to believe that the golden boy was murdered. Did the young king meet a violent death? A clue might lie in the ancient process of 